celebration, celebrating, honoring of all his gifts. May you continue to bless us that we may use all this for your honor and glory. May we remain ground in humility despite our small minds. With a graceful and sincere heart, Lord, that all that we were given something, we must share it with absolute generosity and waiting for anything in return. My God, you are the true life. You are the everlasting. You are the true triumph in this life and that all of our strength is not our, of ourselves. But from you and for you alone, let I will always be done in our lives. So we may do only good and use whatever you have given in us. In your name and in your glory, Amen. Let us remain standing to honor our country. Our chairman, Mr. Vanessa, is here. Our CEO, Doris Monsesaiho. Our presidents, Mr. Romeo, of the NPRC companies, Dr. Omali of the TLG companies, and our CFO and awardee himself, MSL, Mr. Nathan Lopez. We are very, very honored to have all our awardees here, their special guests executives and all managers and co-MPs, please enjoy the next two hours. I hope in the first place you enjoy your food. They look so sumptuous. Um, and please, please be very generous with your hands. Uh, we are actually honoring 
very, very special people. And we hope this afternoon will make them very happy. Thank you very much. Taking a step to recognize the happy is always there. Never late, it always beats the Metro Manila traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, our perfect attendance awardees. Let's watch this. Mr. Hill, can you 
Next, for Chemex or Compliance Assistant, Mr. Alex Carroll. Let us welcome Ms. Diana Dublar.
for agreement in this award <laughs> Great inspiration based on the principles of excellence, creativity, and we care. The Shining Star Award is given to an Epi or group of Epis who best exemplify these principles during and beyond their scope of work and responsibilities. Let's all watch this. Both the ship and the beer. 
for our last, but definitely not the least nominee, nominated by Mr. Richard Paulus Tampa for the We Care category. Our only group entry for this year, let's give her a round of applause to Sun Cruises Incorporated. Sun Cruises is not an important dedication to promote environmental care, to get the community support and assistance, but initiating the project and the betterment of the island's ecosystem. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Emmys, presenting the Pride of Pagsay Side, our nominees for the 2014 Shiny Star Awards. Let's give them another round of applause. Are you ready to find out who won this wonderful Emmys? Is or are Pagsay Side's 2014 Shiny Star? As we as we are to announce our winner or winners. May we call on Miss Torres to present the Shining Star flag. <laughs> the winner or winners of the 2014 Shining Star Award for the We Care category, Mr. Ariston Cruz of Gold Dicks He actually risked life and limb to help out the vessel of SCI from further damage during the typhoon lender. Yeah. And uh, when uh, he's, by the way, he's from uh, Road Lake. No, he's from Road Lake. The story is that uh, he was asked to help out at the height of the typhoon so that the vessel will no longer um, suffer further damage. And in fact, he did. He brought a lot of uh, spare tires. And he even stayed and helped out, even with the bashing wind, to make sure that uh, when all these tires are being installed between the vessel and the edge, I think, of the, of the pier. So we were really very impressed with that. He did not consider uh, for a moment that something will happen to him, and uh, I think that is really the ultimate in uh, the year. The, the committee felt it was really the ultimate in Now, for the creativity and innovation category, let us give a round of applause to Ms. Jenica Ferrero, graduate of the Three. Let us give another round of applause to Ms. Jenica Ferrero. and innovation, you know, it's like thinking out of the box that actually contributed a lot to her own excellence. So that's the reason why we felt that she, that the work actually was entitled more creativity and innovation than, than excellence. And that we wanted her to be an example for people who would think out of the box to be able to, to gain, uh, what do you call this, uh, meet the objective, run after the clients, uh, satisfy customer, and so on and so on. Sure, Rex, by the way, went beyond this target. Congratulations to all the winners. Recognition 
On the board KMP is our rendered long and loyal service to our company. We are honored to present our 2014 Loyalty Awardees. Let us watch this. Let's 
also from the NFC Container Lines, Ms. Michelle Panares, our county secretary. Unfortunately, due to the government weather, Ms. Michelle was not able to come today. We would like to ask Ms. Nina Seabrit to come on stage to receive the award on your behalf. Next, from Rotex Solutions Incorporated, our Sales and Operations Manager, let us welcome Mr. Demetrio Agudo III. Our next awardee from Sonic Cruises Incorporated, let us welcome Mr. Norvito Laruza, our KNS Supervisor. From Travel People Limited Incorporated, let us welcome Ms. Maureen Kabua, Team Leader for Two. Let us welcome Ms. Angelo Scalisa, who is the support officer. Our next awardee, even though her family was not able to come to this event, we would like to also recognize the loyalty of Ms. J.K. Manalo, Reservations Officer and Fox Media Incorporated, for having served the company for 15 years. We shall send her the loyalty award to her family. May we request Ms. Mina Secret, sorry, Ms. Mina Secret to the one stage to receive the plaque on her behalf. Let us please pause for a moment of silence for the repose of her soul. May we request the rest of the awardees to be back on stage for a group victoria. Our crew and 
Congratulations, Courtney Leaders. Let's welcome Ms. Kilda Abelia. Also from Maxisi Maritime Corporation, Team Easter Officer, let us welcome Ms. Eva Dagos. Maxaysay Maritime Corporation, Clean Ish Art Director. Let us welcome Mr. Paul Gutierrez. Next up, the Road Link Solutions Incorporated, Sales and Operations Manager. Let us welcome Mr. Alan Fred Samoa.
for 25 years for visa license. A driver from Imag Say Say Ik, let us welcome Mr. Ruben Arisga. Our next awardee from the Sunshine Maritime Corporation, let us welcome our cash management management manager, Ms. Malabit Denise. <laughs> also from the Sunshine Maritime Corporation, let us welcome Ms. Jacqueline Martin, induction and orientation officer. Our next awardee, celebrating 25 years of service, the president of Magsaysay Maritime Corporation, Mr. Marlon Romeo. Also, celebrating 25 years of service, let us welcome the Chief Finance Officer of National Marine Corporation, Mr. Romeo Ruedas.
It is a good return that we request someone from the roster of awardees to deliver the Loyalty Award speech. We are proud to call on stage this year's Loyalty Award speaker. Please give our warm round of applause and welcome back on stage one of our 25-year Loyalty Award recipient, the Chief Finance Officer of National Marine Corporation. Let us welcome Mr. Romeo Rueda. I have a young family to support. 
Kepis Dagan Kepisah 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 Good company, really doesn't pay good unless you become a farmer. Well, they start to become one. <laughs> so uh, I joined with this guy and uh, I thank God for he was the one who hired me to become the uh, monkey manager of that life. Uh, I would say that uh, in my uh, journey with the Maxi Sai group, I have experienced the psychological nature of the uh, I remember when I first came to the side, it was in 1989, just during the time of war, you know, because it was in the winter. And uh, there was a, an economic slump at the time, as um, well, because of the political uh, problems, it's a community, so interest rates were high, and uh, the uh, dollars, and it depreciated. Uh, what really does people back then is uh, the investments uh, were reluctant to invest in the business, very important investments. But anyway, I think during this year, even though there was a crisis, I think it was a blessing to get to my society. I remember it was the time that um, as I said, then it was into a domestic shipping business. Uh, I joined my society in September 1999. The first anniversary that I attended was that of NMC. It was the first year of the anniversary of NMC back then. Uh, and it's so obvious that they uh, held that uh, celebration at the sixth floor of the island. And uh, after that, uh, I didn't see that we did do the counting business. This is my second. Because a year after, I attended a lesson of our own. I think that's how we created the statement. So, slowly, the UC was expanding into the top of the shipping business. Then, barely after a year with the uh, side, the joint mentor of the uh, side, he and Mr. Martin, then a venture is to actually acquire the shares of the uh, It was in 1991. So I was coming from there and uh, now with Mr. Mali. Mali. Mr. Mali was uh, the general manager then. And it's been the first of the... I hope you're very good because then that year is quite long. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying the highlights. <laughs> but anyway, it's been about six... Uh, six uh, years in the BCI and... Uh, well, there were 10 years back then, especially when we were talking about our new parties that we were able to overcome those uh, challenges with the help of our banks and our suppliers. And then in 1997, there was another crisis, that's the Asian international crisis. And uh, just uh, a few months before that, uh, NMC Venture with the container shipping business. Well, let's say uh, they started in their own food, uh, so to speak, because uh, they were trade really in one cup and uh, uh, that was appreciated, so we really encountered a lot of difficulty during that time. Because during that, uh, in that environment that uh, I was transferred to uh, NMC, it was in 1998. And again, I had uh, joined Mr. Nadi as the president of NMC. Uh, we really have to uh, work all hours again just to know what uh, the extent of uh, our problems. And, uh, and then uh, we presented our findings with plan to, uh, I remember we went to Hong Kong and we presented our findings with plan to uh, the whole family. And uh, well, luckily we were able to get Bernard, the total, to uh, continue the business. 
we were able to show the viability of uh, the business. Then uh, came the hard part. The implementation of the financial plan that we presented was well, really difficult because we had to sit down with banks, we had to sit down with suppliers, to ask for concessions, to ask for reprints. Uh, and we really did uh, some uh, serious cost factors. Difficult to understand. But uh, nevertheless, we were able to, uh, to justify that fund and we were able to overcome those uh, difficult years. And after that, uh, after that, NC is the newly expanded business. We even acquired a digital company. Uh, right, so, it was so, and we will be able as a company, despite the challenges that we can face us. I mean, uh, my business, I had to schedule during the schedule. Many years ago, I didn't realize that uh, Grown up already. And I tried to say that the youngest of the year two, what we were talking about, was when to her recently. <laughs> so uh, I guess um, in our journey, we just sometimes uh, in our journey, uh, the, the daily grind of what we do in our work gets to be tired in time, to say. But then what uh, he gives us the uh, strength and energy to the bond to give you to be the inspiration that is given to our family. Uh, also, we have the you know, people that uh, we have to away. Remember, during the operation of the city, we don't have a big deal for this. But now, we ask me that we have to have one of these boys. So this is the start of this one. The start of this one. That's why I have time to start. So, uh, before I end this piece, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the audience. And that's it. Of course, thank you for addressing me. All this here. I, uh, I hope that I will be able to go to the end and put out a Thank you. Thank you so much. Next, we call on stage the woman with vision and leadership. Transform Bansai Sai into the company that it is now. Ladies and gentlemen, our president and CEO, let us welcome Ms. Doris Magsaysay Ho. Thank you. Hi everybody, hi my dear colleagues, our beloved awardees, our leadership, Eddie Manessa, the XCOM, and all that you have, and all our MPs and families. Children, little kids, a <laughs> First time I saw a little a uh, It's really, really such a wonderful day today for me uh, to see all of you, all your shining faces, all your smiling faces. And I think it's a wonderful idea that we do this as Ned said as a separate event. It really gives us a chance to pause, as well as that, to pause and to thank those who have dedicated so much of their lives and their passion and their, and, and their love of their work to the company. So I thank you so much for, on behalf of all our board, on behalf of our founding chair, my father, on behalf of, um, of the XCOM, on behalf of all the leadership of Maxi Sai. Thank you so much. I think, um, I wish um, the award that is reflected in this plaque it really cannot 
it cannot encompass, it cannot um, hold all these different stories that each of you have had. And as, as Romy, thank you for that wonderful journey. Um, and it's really true, each one of you, each one of us, has had our own different journey. And what holds us together is a common purpose. Um, everybody went through different ways, everyone got here at different times. Although I noticed the Sun Cruz is part of everybody was <laughs> arrived at the same time and they're still there, so thank you guys. <laughs> I remember that, that time. But, um, so everybody has had their different pathways to today, to what we are today. And each of you have made an amazing contribution to who we are and what we are and what we stand for. Um, so for that, I think um, it, is, it, is, it is indeed important to pause. It is important to, to sit and think, to reflect. And um, it, is with this, it is that common purpose that makes us strong. And um, the, the, the role, I think, of us, us in the top management really is to, to work even harder to make our vision and our missions clearer and much more vivid so that we really work together towards a common goal so that the ship can steer ahead safely and the ship can steer a, a, a very strongly into whatever waves that come across our way and also to, to be able to grab and embrace the opportunities that we have in front of us. So um, for next year, um, I was thinking, listening to the words of Romy and the words um, that we have to even build a greater infrastructure so that all of you can truly dedicate your life, your, your work towards that common goal. Um, one of that is um, the type of the work that we're starting now um, with, the, with the joining of Ghani, uh, Mr. Ghani Ong, can you stand up, Ghani? Ghani is now the head of, um, Ghani is the head of um, innovation. He's the chief innovation officer. And, um, and we're excited because uh, we're looking for the tools that can transform your goals, your strategic plans into actual real work plans. So we can work all together, all the way down to the lowest, the lowest rank, all the way up the side ranks, our suppliers, our partners, so that we can all work together more uh, strategically towards our goals. So that's one. The second one that we're working on with NETS group is a much more uh, strategic way of ensuring that, it, that career, career paths in the company are much clearer and that actually people can move from area to area so we can actually um, have interesting ways of developing our own individual career paths. Um, we think that it's good for everybody to move around and find opportunities within the company. And so that's something that we've been working with Matt and Joy, and uh, we hope to make that really something as a very dynamic system that could help inspire all of you. There's another part that um, I really I, I really find important for myself, and I think maybe some of you will like this. You mentioned your wife, Romy, and I see Judith here. Of course, Judith was also a working wife, <laughs> very busy wife, but. Um, one of the things I realized is that most company workplaces are structured with the assumption that someone's taking care of the children at home. And that really fascinates me because the truth is, um, it's not for sure that someone's taking care of the family at home. That means many of us might have part of our brains anxious and this falls also true for our very um, huge population of seafarers and uh, other overseas workers that live, live far away from home. So for, for one to be truly dedicated to one's job and for one to be truly uh, fearless in one's work, the company, I think, needs to help everybody know how to address that part of concern. So we, 
we can actually calm that part of the brain down, knowing that um, the home is taken care of as well. And so I really hope that the company can become more responsible as far as the family is concerned. So it's me at work and me at home. And that the work and home are equally important. So uh, we're working with the university on uh, leadership training programs that we will roll out. And uh, it can be, we'll talk about how many missions we will teach. Um, the same kind of things that you do in your leadership programs at the office, but for the family. Financial planning, budgeting, all the way down to first aid or counseling a child for college and things like that. So I'm, I'm personally working on this, and anybody who is interested would be great if you can join in this effort. Uh, we want our company to be uh, innovative. We want everyone to feel empowered. We want everyone to feel totally uh, peaceful as far as pursuing their own career and as far as their family is concerned. And uh, so we want to be a company that looks at the lives of everyone with great responsibility and holistically. And I think that is the minimum that we can offer back to you in gratitude for the amazing loyalty and dedication that you're giving to this company. So I thank you so much. And um, I take this chance now to really wish you all the best for the holidays. It's going to be a nice long holiday, so rest. And uh, let's be energized to face 2015 with all the greatest energy and very clear, purposeful um, action plans to fulfill our overall company mission, which in the end will also be hopefully aligned with yours. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Ms. Doris. And on to our next tradition. I request everyone to stand up. Put our hands together as we sing the Masai Sai theme song. Good. 